The Panama City Center for the Arts has several exhibits on display in an ongoing design challenge that you can be a part of. Yeah, Mackenzie McClintock learning more about it today. Good morning, Mackenzie. Hey, good morning, guys. That's right. Yeah, talking all about that design challenge, and I'm almost done. I want to do my best not to smudge it here, so give me just a second to show you guys what I've been working on. Check it out. There you go. So doing the WMBB logo, and I think it's turned out pretty good, but again, I need to let it dry and just add my finishing touches, but you can also design one too, and it's all part of the skateboard deck design challenge. So let's learn now from Dixie Club, who is with the Bay Arts Alliance, and Dixie, you're filling us in this morning. The best part is, though, that people still have time if they'd like to submit one of these. They do, yes. So the boards are due on Friday and Saturday. Okay. And then the um, exhibit will open next week. Sounds good, and mm -hmm. then, of course, there's a little bit of an, an incentive as well that mm -hmm. comes along with it, some prizes, and of course, a competition. Tell us about that. Yes, so it is actually a competition. Uh, there's a kids um, category and an adults category, and then there's first, second, and third place prizes, okay. and Relief Skate is providing the first place prizes. So. Love that. Love so that. yeah, anything that you want to do to your skateboard as mm -hmm. far as art goes, it's pretty much fair game. Yes, so we're going to have some people, some people have even said they're going to add barbed wire okay. and things hanging off the board. Love it. Don't know how it's going to look, but that's awesome. Yeah. Like you can collage it, paint it, whatever you want to do. Okay, sounds good. And again, you want to bring those to the Center for the Arts anytime that they're open and give us those times so people know. No. Um, so it's 10 to 5 on sat on Friday and then 10 to 4 three on Saturday. Okay, yeah. sounds good. So bring them by, drop them off, and maybe you can win a prize. And then, of mm -hmm. course, some of the other things that are ongoing right now, too. The artwork on the wall behind us, part mm -hmm. of Bay Arts. And then mm -hmm. we have some other things downstairs. So tell us about that. So Bay Annual is our fine arts competition, and this is the last week to come and see it. Um, so you can come see that. And then we have three new shows downstairs. Black Lives Matter, Sarah Burr's his exhibit, and Ashley McWhorter. Okay, and then mm -hmm. also we want to talk about the summer camps that are ongoing yes. too. There's still some time for some of the kids to get involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so next week is full, but the two weeks after that, uh, we have morning sessions and afternoon sessions, and every single day it's a new art project. Okay, sounds good, and that's super fun. Gets them some of that energy out, get yes. moving during the summertime, and mm -hmm. then of course too, we want to hit on the guidelines that you guys are following right now. Mm -hmm. So tell everybody at home about what they need to be prepared for if they are going to come and see any of the art. Mm -hmm. So we're completely free. Um, we're suggesting that people wear masks, but we're not requiring it because a lot of people don't have them, Right. Um, just on them. But there's a lot of space to social distance here. We have little squares on the floor in the main gallery where you can see where six feet apart is. And um, it's never super crowded, so it always feels pretty safe in this place, in the um, building. Okay, sounds good. And then just one last question here for you. Anything else that you guys just want to say to the public right now about your operations as we continue to move through this time together? Uh, well, we just hope people come and see the art because we are so excited that we were able to reopen again and to have some of our regular shows and some really fun stuff coming up. So we hope that people who need to take a, take a break can just come in and enjoy themselves. Sounds good. All right, Dixie, mm -hmm. thank you. And of course, thanks for letting me paint with you guys too this morning. Yeah. It's turned out really well. I use this as my inspiration here and I'm almost done, Lauren. Good news is if it's going to keep raining, I don't think I have any other excuse but just to keep painting. Hey, I agree. And you know what? That might be the case. It's a rainy start today.